I just released a video on uh, cutting mortises by hand for hinges and other hardware on my main channel. That's a video, it might look familiar, it might look older. <laughs> it's a video that I put on my second channel in 2019. And the reason why I'm putting it on my main channel this morning is that I really don't have anything to put there yet. And I wanted to get a video out and there's a couple of good reasons for that. One is that it's kind of grist for the mill for the Facebook thing. You know, they're re-editing the videos on and putting them on my Facebook page. So I need to keep that going. And plus it is a good video. Um, it, it was actually too good for that channel. So it was a mistake not putting it on my main channel to begin with. But then I didn't realize how well it would do. So I don't know if this current one is going to do as well. Probably won't because YouTube penalizes duplicate content. Even if you take the time to re-edit it a little bit, like the original was over 12 minutes and I cut this one down to under 10. And it's like I chopped out a full three minutes almost, uh, give or take. Well, you could say three minutes. And uh, I tightened it up, got rid of some of the stuff where... It kind of lagged a little bit, but overall it's the same video with the same information, the same details, and YouTube penalizes that. It doesn't promote it as, as well as new content. So it probably won't do that well, but like I say, it's, you know, for, like it's a video that should have been on my main channel and it will go now for the Facebook thing and all that. And... That's that. Other than that, um, what have I been up to? Well, I've been taking time off. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this is something I would feel guilty about. Even up to a few months ago, I would feel guilty if I took an extended period off. But now it's becoming less of a problem. I got to be honest that I had like long periods of time off back when I was doing the doors and hardware. Like that was the nature of that thing. It would be go, 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 go for a very brief period. And then it'd be, you know, time in between jobs to do whatever I felt like doing. And so I kind of missed that with the old job uh, because I didn't, like when I started doing this, I was go, 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 go. Maybe not as intensely or as physically as I was with the door and hardware job. But certainly, like for time, I was spending all my time doing this. And that, you know, that, that brought me up to like very recently, actually, where I spent most of my time. You know, I had free time, don't get me wrong. But I spent a lot of my time. During the day, you could say up to and including, say, 15, 16 hours a day on this here. Okay, so it wouldn't be just a normal day's work. You could say an eight-hour day for, you know, you get up in the morning, you have your breakfast, have your coffee, whatever. You go to work, you come home in the afternoon, you relax. That's what most people's lives are. Or if they don't relax, they spend some time doing stuff that they're interested in. And uh, that was my that was my life before I started doing this. Except, you know, even more so, I would have long periods. I'm talking months. Like I'd have two or three months sometimes when I wasn't doing anything. And I would give me a lot of time to do whatever I wanted to do. And some of that was just sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> and that's that's the period that I went through just now. And I'm still kind of in it. So, I, you know, maybe I'm, I'm putting that one to bed a little bit prematurely. But I, I'm hoping to get restarted. It's my intention today <laughs> to start editing the first video for the bandsaw build. And get that out on Sunday. I actually <laughs> started up the office computer where I edit the videos on, uh, what was this, Saturday? Last, last week? and was going to start editing that video with the idea that I would have it on Sunday. And I, you know, because I had started editing it before, but as far as I got was just taking the clips in and putting them in the timeline. I had done nothing else. I had trimmed nothing. I had recorded no voiceover, nothing. So it was too monumental a task. And I said, 
don't do that. Go sit down some more, you know, watch something, listen to something. And, you know, you can blame my listening room in the basement for all this slacking off because I've been basically living down there. It's been awesome. It's been awesome. Anyway, so getting back to the band. So I'm going to start, restart that project. And one thing that was holding me up from getting it finished or, you know, continuing with it was the plans. And in my time off thinking about things, I decided that I'm not going to make plans for that bandsaw. Not in, not for when it's released anyway. I may release them after the video, after the series is done. You know, the bandsaw is all done, finished using it and all that. Anyway, so other than that, what else is going on? The shop is a gigantic mess. Like I wasn't doing nothing exactly. I was working on a project for my audio channel and that's a amplifier for my listening room. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I built that mostly. That's another one that's not done yet. I kind of hung up on the front panel, you know, design and I ordered these small analog meters four of them to go on the front and I'm trying to, you know, come up with something and I want to do it with metal. I want to do it with aluminum and then paint it black to contrast the, the uh, raw aluminum of the cover. So, you know, I'm kind of hung up on that. And also, you know, the thing is working <laughs> and I've got it down there already and I'm using it. So uh, there's no rush, right? There's no rush. And uh, so I was doing that and I got a couple of videos posted on that. If you're not subscribed to that channel, you missed those. And if you're not going to watch the videos on that channel, then I really wouldn't recommend subscribing to it. There's a, you know, that's basically, you know, other than some speaker stuff that I'm going to be doing, that's basically the only building stuff that I'm going to be doing there. Everything else is going to be more or less me talking about technical stuff as far as audio goes. So, yeah, so some of that. And then, like I said, I'll get back into the bandsaw and clean up the shop <laughs> because it's really bad. And what else? Uh, I got some projects um, to do in my stairwell going down to the basement. I finished painting the walls and painting the ceiling and all that, getting it ready to do some stuff in there. I want to do something on the ceiling, something interesting. I made, uh, I did that ceiling in my office a few years ago uh, where I put the wood slats on the ceiling and I put some insulation above for sound treatment and that worked out well. And the video, when I released it, it didn't do well. But now, um, I don't know, about a year ago, it started to pick up views, like it started to take off. And now it's up around 600,000 views. So that did well over the long term and you know it's a short video interesting subject so i you know I, I just don't understand how things work sometimes you know obviously if six hundred thousand people wind up watching the video then it's a good video so there's your proof why why did it only i think it only got like fifteen thousand views in the first day which is not okay it sounds like a lot if you've only got like a couple thousand subscribers, but if you've got a channel that's closing in on a million, which I did at the time, a million subscribers, then you should be getting more. But anyway, that's another, that's another uh, story altogether. Uh, the way I see it these days, million, million subscribers, not a big deal. Million subscribers today is like what a hundred thousand subscribers <laughs> used to be maybe five years ago. Okay, it's not really that big a deal. It certainly doesn't guarantee. What it'll do is it'll give you that initial push. So it'll let YouTube know whether the video is good. And if it, you know, if it doesn't give, like for that video, there wasn't any initial push because none of my subscribers watched it. Very few anyway. So that signaled YouTube that it wasn't very good. But eventually it picked up, which tells me it was a good video, a good topic, good subject. So I'll be doing again my stairwell, the ceiling there. Uh, it's kind of rough. Like it's only got one coat of, of stuff for the for the taping and I painted it so knowing that I'm going to do this. So it's not a big deal. 
Also, uh, I've got kind of an interesting idea for, um, for not a bookcase, but a place to put DVDs and uh, Blu-rays because I've got quite, um, I wouldn't say a huge collection, but a pretty big collection of that. I don't like I don't do Netflix or anything here. I don't stream movies or TV shows because my Internet is expensive. So that limits what I can do. So I have to buy, you know, Somebody said on my Dexter video, why, who, who buys, you know, who buys media anymore? Who buys Blu-ray discs anymore? Well, I do. <laughs> I buy them and then I rip them and I put them on my computer and then I can watch them over and over. Because my memory shot, right? So I can watch a show and then give it about a year, maybe a year and a half, and I can watch it again and enjoy it just as much, if it's worth watching. All right, so that's the other thing. And... You know, now that I have the, my room done, <laughs> well, not done, not completely finished, but, you know, I'm using it, that's even more enjoyable. And the thing about the room down there is it's disconnected. It's not connected to the internet. There's no internet in the listening room. Completely cut off from all of this stuff, which is excellent, which is what I really want. You know, I want to I wanna be here, but then... I want times when I'm not here and I, I'm unavailable completely. I can't even hear if somebody's knocking on my front door down there. That's how cut off I am. And that's really the way I want it to be. You know, some people will find that strange or say I'm Unabomber type thing, but no, that's the way I want it to be. I really like that. I want to be cut off sometimes. Other times, you know, I want to be in the thick of things, but... You know, I get these periods where I just want to be cut off. And you know, I'm currently going through one or, or finishing up one right now. I talked to a senior advisor to one of the provincial governments a couple of weeks ago. He told me flat out that the COVID policy here is driven by nothing but opinion polls related to the popularity of the government. No science, no end game in sight, no real plan. And so what that means is that the, the part of the population that's most afraid of COVID